Today I am going to make a focaccia bread with a pistachio pesto sauce and veggies on the top. This recipe is great for most diets because it is gluten-free, it is grain-free, it is paleo, and it is vegan. I'm going to start with one and a quarter cups of warm water and I'm going to add to that two teaspoons of yeast. I was using raw honey before with my yeast, but it's an antimicrobial, so my yeast was not growing very well. So I'm going to add two teaspoons of my organic maple syrup to the yeast. Some people worry about adding those sugars from the maple syrup, but the yeast gobbles all of that up, so you're really not getting much. I'm gonna do about a cup of almond flour. This is a great paleo type of flour to use. And I'm going to use a third of a cup of coconut flour. Coconut flour is really rich in fiber with uh, seven grams in just two tablespoons. And I'm going to use one cup of arrowroot starch, which is a very nice low glycemic starch. And we're going to add one teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon and one teaspoon of chia seeds into a coffee grinder. And I'm also going to add two, two teaspoons of organic flax seed. Both chia seeds and flax seeds are sources of omega-3, so it's a great way to get your healthy fats. Perfect. You can see how nice and active my yeast is now. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons of psyllium. You can find psyllium at your local health food store, and this is our chia and flax seed mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stir that in there, get it all wet. You wanna let that sit for about 10 minutes and meanwhile, I'm gonna whisk this together. Now I'm gonna add those wet ingredients to my dry. And now I'm gonna get down and dirty and mix this all together and knead it. Be honest, I veered a little bit from the recipe adding the flaxseed. I need to add just a couple tablespoons of some water. Okay, I put a parchment paper down on a cookie sheet and I'm gonna lightly flour it with some potato starch. I'm gonna add a little bit more flour on top and bottom. I'm gonna roll it out just a little bit more. Now I like to set this in my oven after it's been heated and then just let allow to cool but still warm. I don't heat it any hotter than 105 degrees and I also put in a bowl of hot steamy water to keep it moist. I've got some shelled pistachio nuts here and first I'm going to do a half a cup for our pistachio pesto. I have some beautiful basil here. It is a wonderful aromatic herb. I'm going to pack a half a cup's worth in here. About right. So I'm gonna add that into my cup with the pistachios. I'm gonna add about three or four cloves of garlic. Little tip on the garlic, smash it first and it's easier to peel. Next I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon of salt and a quarter of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm gonna put my lid on and blend this all together. You may have to take it off and shake it up a little bit before blending some more. 
Now your beautiful pistachio pesto is ready for the bread. So we just have to finish letting it rise. My dough has risen, and so now I'm gonna put my pesto, pistachio pesto on top. I've set the oven for 400 degrees. And we're just gonna take some time and spread it all the way to the edges. I'm gonna lay down some spinach leaves. And I've got all these beautiful colored toppings. You don't have to use the same things, you can use whatever. I've got all these beautiful layers, colors and flavors. I like to reserve some of the toppings because that way I can throw a salad together really fast at the end. I've also got some basil and oregano and I love to sprinkle that on top. It just makes it look done. I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper. And then it's ready to go in the oven. You can see how beautiful this is. And I've got my oven set at 400 degrees. It's gonna go for about 20 minutes, but check it at 15. It has been 20 minutes, and as you can see, it is just absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely just wonderful, and you can imagine what it would look like with a salad, and now I am going to take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Serve this with a big salad and you got a great meal. If you found this helpful and you'd like more, comment, like, or subscribe below. Until next time, love yourself, eat real food.